in Holland. And on the Van Wyck farm, the children are giving the chickens their breakfast. The boy's name is Hendrik Van Wyck. And this is Sister Anni. Father has milked the cows and is getting the milk ready for market. While Mother Van Wyck is making the beds, cupboard beds, built into the wall and hidden by... And it will soon be time for their breakfast, too. Come you eat her. Come you eat her. Come to eat, Mother says. Yeah. Yes, says Hendrik. Wooden shoes must be left outside. Hendrik and Annie and Father, too, enter the house in their stocking feet. Now for a breakfast of bread and butter and cheese, of cold roast beef and hot tea. But first, Father says a silent grace. Mother cuts huge slices of bread for Father and Hendrik and Annie. Annie pours out tea for everyone. Tea to drink with the bread and butter, the cheese and the meat that make up the breakfast on the Van Wyck farm. Hendrik, als je klaar bent, ga je om Willem vragen of er iets is dat we morgen voor hem mee kunnen brengen uit Middelburg. Middelburg, Middelburg, Fijn, gaan we naar Middelburg. Dat zal heel lanig zijn. Father tells the children they're going to Middelburg tomorrow. This is good news, a trip to town. It will be good news too for Uncle Willem Van Wyck who runs this grain mill in the village nearby. Hendrik and Annie, on their way to school, are going to call on Uncle Willem to see if there is anything he would like from Middleburg. And there is Uncle Willem now, coming from the mill to shake out a Uncle flower bag. Uncle Willem, Uncle Willem, Uncle Willem. Uncle Willem. Father, Father, what would you like from the stad? What would you like from town, asked the children. Dat is aardig dat je komt. Tobacco of sigaren. Some tobacco or cigars would be nice, says Uncle Willem. And now, while the great sails of the mill turn round and round outside, Hendrik and Annie take a few minutes to go inside the mill to watch Uncle Willem at work. First, he hoists a sack of grain to the upper part of the mill. And now, clump, clump up the old wooden stairs in his noisy wooden shoes up to empty a sack of grain into the grinding machinery. Down it goes, slowly down toward the mill wheels, where the grain is ground into flour. Wooden gears creak round and round, turning the wheels below as Uncle Willem examines the grain, just as he has done for years and years. Grain that has come from the fields nearby, grain that the mill will grind into flour, as the sails go round in the wind. But now Hendrik and Annie must hurry off to the village school, must hurry to join other children from the village and from the farms. They come along the village street and up through the yard to the school and on through the door with morning greetings for their teacher. They are having a lesson in geography and the teacher will ask some questions. Let us see what the first question will be. Welk land is dit? What country is this, he asks. Everyone seems to know the answer to this. Nederland. The Netherlands, says the class. The Netherlands, that is another name for the little country which Welk we Land call Holland. Dit. Another question, and this time Hendrik volunteers, but the teacher calls on Annie. Welk land is dit, Annie? Dit zijn de grenzen van de Verenigde Staten van Amerika. Recess and games in the schoolyard. This game looks familiar, and Hendrik seems to play it very well. The girls form a circle for Ring Around a Rosie. Round and round they dance, some in clothes of an old, old style, and some in styles that are modern. Some wear caps of fancy lace, and some wear bows of ribbon. Some of the girls wear wooden shoes, but more wear shoes of leather. Now, in the afternoon, 
Lessons are over for the day, and no more school till Monday. Out of the yard they go, and down the village street. Bicycles and more bicycles as the children return to their homes. Saturday, and time for the trip to Middleburg. The big baskets of eggs will be sold at the city market. Over her neatly combed hair, Annie wears her finest lace cap. Father is dressed up, too. And Annie sees to it that Mother's coral necklace is just exactly right. For all the Van Wykes must look their very best. Fancy jewelry isn't worn every day. Father takes great pride in his silver buckles and his gold watch and chain. Time to start. All is ready. Horse and wagon, spick and span for the journey, stand in front of the neat Van Wyck home. Mother and children climb up to their places. Now father takes the driver's seat, and out the lane they go. Da, Hans, da. Goodbye to Hans, the farmhand. Da, da. Goodbye, says Hans. Through the farm gate and down the road that leads to Middleburg. An hour later, and the family are passing along the main canal of the town. They wait while a bridge is opened to allow a boat to pass down the canal. Then, joining automobiles, carts and trucks, the bicycles and wagons, the family cross over the bridge that leads toward the market in the old town square of Middleburg. In the square is the fine old city hall built hundreds of years ago. The bells in the tower ring out across the square, out over the market stalls where large quantities of butter and eggs and cheese and many products of the town are bought and sold. Dag, Yvonne van Wijk. Who Mother you? Van Wijk Where takes her basket of eggs to a buyer. Millions and millions of eggs are sold by the farmers of Holland. The buyer puts the eggs in a large box and keeps a careful count. Hendrik and his father have not forgotten Uncle Willem's cigars. A large sign, Cigaren, shows that this store will be able to fill Uncle Willem's request. And by the time Mother has sold the eggs, Father and Hendrik have bought the cigars. Now, all it again for a look around the square. Even though they live only six miles away, it may be a long time before Hendrik and Annie come into town again. They want to see all they can. And now, with the sound of the bells still reminding them of the square, they start for home, down the road along the canal, the way they came. And they are soon turning in at the gate once more. Home again, with supplies from town. Toward evening, Hendrik finds time to look over the lamps he bought in town to add his collection. Annie has already started a sweater with woolen yarn she bought. And Willem called for his cigars. He wasn't disappointed the least bit. He reads his newspaper and puffs contentedly while he waits with Hendrik and Annie for the dinner that mother is preparing in the kitchen. Father works in the garden, trimming flowers. Not until late does evening fall logs and farm lands while the great sails of the windmills turn winds that drift across the level lands of Holland. <laughs> 